Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Old Streams Farm, where today we are going to be doing some silage. We've got John Deere 60 something 30, 6630, pulling a Pollinger Mix 5. We got a we got our massive 5613 pulling the Pull Bills Marston Trader and its silage configuration. And, uh, yeah, I should mention that the silage harvester, this pottinger, is private. Um, it's made by Pedro, so you guys probably won't get a link to that ever, because <laughs> it's Pedro, and he's notorious for never giving links to things. Um, John Deere is public, though, I think it's a mod poster. And the Marstons, of course, are from the Giants Mod Hub. So we are making size today on Pemberland Farm. And I do apologize for the 5613 being in the hedge constantly, but that's where the silage shield is on the, the trailer. That's where it's going to go. <laughs> that's the side it's going to be on. I do set beside me a cup of coffee because it's me. Oh, delicious. It's, like, well, it's a cappuccino, but I call it coffee. It's a type of coffee. And, uh, yeah, I want to apologize for yesterday's old streams video going live late. Um, simple fact of that matter is, I woke up at half four and didn't have the video set to go public at all, didn't have it scheduled, uh, so it kind of suffered as a result, I had no control over it. As soon as I got up and had a breakfast and all that kind of stuff, I got the video up, uh, well, made public. It was all uploaded, all ready to go. Uh, well, except it didn't have any title, description, tags, or anything like that. So I had to do that real quick. Um, but that's what happens from time to time. You guys know that I didn't sleep on Saturday night at all. I slept for 12 hours Sunday night to make up for everything. Um, hopefully that's all that it all sorted now. So we're hopefully going to get this field done today. There's probably going to be three or four loads of grass going out. The 899, 100% in the Marston now. So let's grab this fella. I am using Follow Me, by the way. I'm wondering how the um, Massey is magically following the deer. It is Follow Me. Um, now we did in Thursday's stream, last week's stream, do some silage. This week's stream, which I think is actually going to be up, oh no, this, this week's stream will be up on tomorrow. Tomorrow we will be doing some, probably seeding, I think we'll have to go on a big seeding spree. Um, I was testing stuff in the last stream as well, if you didn't see that. What I did done do was I uh, was testing the um, brush shovel thing. I'm not sure how to describe it. It's a brush shovel. It's for yard work. So expect a yard work episode eventually. Um, I'm also testing this clamp to make sure that it, it works. And there's a minor issue but it's down to user error getting close to, too close to the wall. Um, if you are using these clamps, guys, when the map is out, be very careful with the walls, don't get too close to them. Um, I would advise you don't use levelers. Use my method of using a bucket, a uh, silage bucket, um, on a wheel loader or whatever. Get a good pile going and just crush it down. Don't use a leveler because you can break the tip galls very easily with a leveler. Um, as happens on Sandy Bay, as happens on a lot of maps. It, it just, the game, the engine doesn't really work nicely with tip calls at all. Um, so I would advise you be very careful with it. Let's get this guy back under follow me. I do have the HUDs down today for reasons. There we go. The reasons are because no HUDs are best HUDs. So let's get on the move again. I wanted to use a deer today. I just 
kind of felt like it. There's something... Now, I am warming to the John Deere brand, I must admit. Like, you guys who have been here for a while would be shocked to hear that, that I am warming to John Deere's. But, I really am. I'm, there's more good mods of John Deere's than there used to be. So there may be a point in the distant future where I have a, a farm or a map that is all John Deere. Um, I wouldn't be too surprised, actually, if that was the case. <laughs> Honestly. Because, yeah, I'm really enjoying these deer mods. As I completely whiff this corner. There we go. The Massey is going to slam into the gate. The Massey's already stuck against the gate. Massey's gonna hit the other bit of the gate. Yep, Massey's gonna hit the other bit of the gate. So it's just a case of getting the Massey lined up in such a way that it won't jam against the gate. There we go. That's the Massey, Dave. You want the deer. There we go. So I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna be very smart and very cheeky indeed and do a full 180. Because, um, we have to pass that little castle turret thing, and uh, I know for a fact that the, <laughs> the Massey won't play nice with the castle turret thing. It just, yeah, it would just drive straight into it. So, yes, it is driving on the grass that's yet to be picked up, but at the same time it's not going to slam into the castle turret thingy, which is probably the lesser of two evils. Almost definitely it's the lesser of two evils. So we're getting good yield out of this grass. So, you know, like, we're not going to have a small amount of silage. We're, we've already got quite a lot. We've already done the lower field um, in the stream. So this is just doing the higher field now. And we'll be using the class uh, a bit more in the future in streams. Because I do like the class. Just a case of getting everything ready to go on the move, and we'll have to go on a big seeding spree very soon um, to ensure that everything's good in the world. The farm sim. We gotta make sure, you know, we gotta make sure that all our crops are ready. We will be getting animals. We will be getting cows uh, quite soon, in fact. What I plan to do there is I plan to just use creative money, creator tools, and pop in uh, probably about 30 cows. And see how we go in the winter time. Hopefully rather well. So I've whiffed that corner too. Now we're pretty much limited to how quickly the Massey wants to turn. That'll do. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100%. Go into the Massey. Take off. Apparently, you have some control over. You can accelerate while following me as I'm. I'm just going to completely ignore this. the fact that this field is here. Drive straight through. Down to the side of Clem. Which does have our T6 in it with the big Rueve weights. Uh, Rueve weights, because that's the easiest way to compact silage. As we try and weave our way around it, we. Oh, that actually worked! <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that that actually worked, but it did. Let's tip out here. And it looks like we might have got a bit too close to that side, but it could just be a visual thing. Okay, 
Because this is still being, you know, this is still testing the map. It's making sure that there's not... There's definitely nothing completely horribly game-breaking wrong with the map. There's a few more, there's a few more minor things. Um, and there's a few things that can't really be fixed short of having huge um, changes to how they work. Like the silage clamp, there is a way to fix that, but it's fiddly at best. Um, I forgot to stay now to steam. Dave is a genius. So I'm going to pause the game real quick and sign out of steam. So I'll be back in a second. And three, two, one. There we go. So what happens when I am somewhat awake, still drinking my breakfast coffee, and uh, start trying to record, is I completely forget that I was logged into Steam. I know what the issue is. There we go. That should fix that, in theory. Yep. Uh, the offset. Um, apparently, by moving forwards, I'd reset the offset. Which wasn't very good indeed. And the Massey just doesn't want to turn. That is irritating. That is really, really irritating. But we are doing well with the silage. It doesn't matter too much. Apparently that John Deere has IC. Doing well with the silage. We got 4,000 litres into this third load. We got the deer running quite nicely, we got the Massey running beside it, and we got a rather lovely view across the map. What I'm going to do is uh, gonna take off glance real quick. Get a nice little screenshot of these two at work. Why can't I not, why can't I not zoom in more? There we go. Get a nice screenshot of these two at work. that. And now I need to figure out a way to do silage where I can only turn left. I have to do NASCAR silage. If I do that, I'll just get you to stop for a minute. Is it left I want to turn or is it right? It's right I want to turn. Because that's the more convenient turn. So if I start there, turn right up to the butt top one and then kind of work my way in, that should work. In theory. Uh, I do want to apologize as well for the quality of yesterday's video, the actual video quality of the two videos yesterday. They weren't the greatest because I had... Um, I was using different settings. And they... I should have tested it, but I didn't. So it kind of... They didn't work the best because I was using the wrong settings, effectively, in OBS, and it was capturing a completely different way. It didn't work at all. So let's get our glance back up so I can at least see how full the Massey is. Or the Marston is, not the Massey. The Massey isn't getting any silage. So this is going to be interesting. Right turn only silage. My plan is I'm going to do this line here, go up to the top, and do the line up there, and then kind of work my way down, only turning right. I could also... Oh no, I can skip a line. Right turn, right turn. Yeah, I'm going to skip a line every time. That would be the most... the quickest way to do it. So for example, and I'm missing quite a lot by talking here and trying to think this out. If I just do a relatively tight turn here, skip that line because I can come back to it and go down this line. We're taking a right turn. 
We're going back down the field and we haven't really missed anything because the next right turn will be turning onto the line to our right. But then the right turn after that will be turning onto... Yeah, we'll have to skip then this line and go straight onto this one. Um, so that was probably the tightest turn at that end of the field that we'll do. As we uh, missed about half of this line entirely. So 95% in the Marston right now. 97, 98, 99, and 100%. So we'll get the message that following. Bring it down into the yard and get it unloaded. Now I don't have a wheel loader because I don't really see the point of having a wheel loader um, right now. And uh, you know I've got, I've got a couple of buckets that I could use the Massey for. Could use the Massey on. Uh, right as it stands, I need to put the buckets away. As you can see, they're just kind of there. And I was testing the um, the cleaning bucket during the stream. That's why there is a pile of manure in the storage area. That is a storage area. Do you know what? Let's actually shift G, create a money on. Let's get about 20 cows right now. So in theory, cows will be unloaded at this gateway here. So we press R by... let's get 30 cows. 150,000 euros worth of cows. And confirm. There are all our cows, so let's close the gate so that the cows don't escape. We'll need to feed them in the next episode. Next video. Or during the stream tomorrow, in fact, we could do that. Um, but for now, the priority is getting the silage done. This is going to be kind of auxiliary silage in case we run out of silage bales. Um, I don't have the buy bales mod, so if we do run out of bales entirely, that's kind of a big problem. It is problem. But we shouldn't have that problem. Um, if we do, I'll get the buy bales mod. Because I won't be left, I'll be left without a choice. We will also need to get a water trailer. What I'm going to do real quick is just turn off creative money. Um, because that just. Creative money is a billion dollars. It absorbs everything. Um, so anything I buy goes out of that billion. Um, and it refreshes every time. It goes out of that billion that I just generated. Uh, anything I sell goes into that billion that I just generated. So if I wanted to have a really terrible um, income for something, I could do, we'll say, three loads, the first load has creative money turned on, the two loads that, the two loads left don't, and I could say, oh, well, we only paid two-thirds of what I thought we were going to be paid, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that there is a lot that I could do with it, and I can see why the mod exists. I actually appreciate the mod existing because it is so very useful. Even if it's just the whole hydro. It's it's really really useful. Um, also, I can run around the map at ridiculous speeds and use faster time compression than time fast forward mod even. So th you know, I, I, there are many many uses to this mod, and I really like it. Um, as for tractors and stuff, I mean they're just basically different colors and maybe have some slightly different features. Um, those of you that get excited about trailers, how do you do it? Because I just see a trailer and I'm like, oh, that's a pretty trailer. Or, the, oh, that's a good trailer. There's some trailers that I'd like to see in game just because the the branding I would like. But other than that, a trailer is a trailer is a trailer is a trailer is a trailer. There's no real... <laughs> there's no real where, place where you say, oh, this trailer is better than this trailer of the exact same capacity and proportions because this brand makes it better in farm sim. You know, it's a case of, I like the look of this trailer. It is pretty. I like the colors. This is my trailer. 
it is my tr it is my pretty trailer. You know that that's all you can really say. Um, now, as far as Selby goes, because I did say I mentioned yesterday video that I do need to fix things on Selby. Uh, I'll probably do that not today, um, being Monday, but I'll probably do that on Wednesday and have that all being fiddled on Wednesday because I do need to actually pretty much reset the map entirely um, and that's gonna take a few hours just to, the vehicles I can just bring straight over but there's other stuff that I do need to basically start a new save game for and that's not gonna be fun so hopefully it doesn't break too much when I do that but I am fully aware it could break everything when I do that, especially with Seasons. Um, that's my major concern is Seasons. Because I don't know how anything is going to react. Um, and I have, like, in the few minutes, well, it's about an hour now that yesterday's video has been live, I'm just going to check the Creator Studio app on my phone to see what the comments are like, because I already didn't get a comment or two about the case. Um, well, one comment from JKHD, who's wondering if it's private. Yes. Let's actually go to my recent comments and read them. Ish. Um, Farming Man with all the twos, who, despite being in my streams a lot, still wants to know what wheel I use. And those of you that are in the streams can probably say this off my heart now, by now. Uh, my The wheel that I use is a Logitech G27. It is, to my mind, um, and I know the G29 or G920 are pretty similar, but the 27, it's just, to my mind, the best wheel you can get for farm sim and ETS2, and if you're into sim racing, which I am to an extent, it's a really good starter wheel. I know you can, the, the Thrustmaster T300 and 500 are actually better wheels than the 27, um, but as a starter wheel, something that you're that I use for, you know, really varied use. It is probably the exact wheel I need. Because some of the more specialized sim racing wheels wouldn't work with farm sim, and the farm sim wheel sure as heck wouldn't work with a set of Corsa. Which, if it doesn't work with a set of Corsa and farm sim, it's kind of a deal breaker. You can see that the grass, by the way, is magically turning into chaff because that's the way the farm sim works this. I do actually like that, that you can do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just abandon the harvest. Um, because I realize now that I desperately need to... Can I get the... Ah, I can get this menu up. Actually, Glance will tell me anyway. I desperately need to get the um, silage somewhat compacted now. Because this is just getting to be unmanageably huge of a pile and uh, the T6 will struggle As you can see with the rover weights on it, it does work it, this, I've literally just maxed out all the weight on this thing so the suspension of the T6 is probably absolutely shot but the important thing is is that I can compact the silage in a reasonably quick time frame like you can see we've already got um, five percent extra compaction over what we did, and uh, it's somewhat behaving itself. It's never going to fully behave itself, but it's it's mostly behaving. And the new Holland hasn't actually got stuck this time, like it did in the stream. Mainly because I'm just kind of focusing on this hill that I've unintentionally created. Um, I'm turning that into what could be loosely described as a reasonable ramp. So if I can do that, then I will be quite happy. 67% compacted now. That's but the reason that I don't use... Um, a, you're bound to ask, why don't I use levelers? The reason is, is they don't really work. They don't work to a level that I like, and they tend to break things more often than they help. Um, they're more of a hindrance than a help, in my mind, because, I mean, you think about it, they're going to jump and skip over stuff, and then they, 
like pick up certain bits of silage but then leave certain other bits that for some reason and then they just kind of cause your tractor to jam up when in reality it just scoot up a bit and start sliding over the top and actually level and yeah it just it's just a mess I much prefer doing it the um, this way where I you know create a ramp of some description just by compacting it you can see that it is creating a ramp creating a slope um, and this is basically the 2015 way of doing silage I mean you, you put the silage into a big blop and just run over it a bunch it, it hasn't intrinsically it hasn't changed it's just the way that it looks has that's literally the only difference between silage and FS15, silage and FS13, and silage and FS17 is the way that it looks when you're compacting. Because even in FS15 it looked different from FS13, there was the first hints of um, what is now the reasonably dynamic movement. Um, where to take the tires and if you watch carefully it is taking the tires themselves and saying okay well there's a tire here and there's this much weight on this tire so we're gonna react in this way um, that's the way the silage is working now whereas in FS15 it was just well this is a heavy thing I'm gonna crush down a bit um, and I must say I prefer the way that it works now it is a bit more difficult to compact silage but it's much easier to predict what exactly it's going to do. You, know, you can kind of, if you wanted, I guess you could maybe even put a design in your silage clamp. That'd be fun to try sometime if I had a big enough silage clamp, is actually try and put a design in one. Like try and put an RDG of um, really heavily compacted silage in the middle of it. That'd be awesome, because I am using RDG as kind of a shorthand for the channel. Um, you see that in some various places, especially, I usually type RDG if I'm talking about the channel. Um, if I don't, and if I don't want to just say, my YouTube channel, I'll just use RDG. Um, and you guys can do it as well if you want to leave it in the comments or whatever. Um, oh. I was going to say somebody else's video. No, I don't. I don't encourage you guys to talk about me in other people's videos, unless like that somebody is blatantly copying me. Then it's probably fine. But if they're playing on the same maps and using, if they're playing on the same maps as me, they're probably actually being given early access because that's the majority of my maps now. Um, but they, yeah, I'm just going to stop on that tangent now because I have no idea where I'm going with it. But that is going to do it for today, as I'm confusing myself greatly, and fin and compacted the silage, but just you can keep running over this for as long as you like. I wonder how far down I can get this compacted. Um, that is going to do this for today. I will leave you by saying, you've been what I've been reading about Dave, you've been watching Farming Simulator 17 on Penberlin. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do hit that like button, and don't forget to leave a comment below with your thoughts or suggestions for things to do in the future um, if you haven't done so already please do hit that subscribe button as well I'm well on the road to 5,000 subscribers and that's kind of my goal for the next month or so maybe or well, maybe a bit longer than a month next couple of months I'm hoping to get hit 5,000 subscribers on the channel um, hoping to hit 10,000 this year which would be awesome but, uh, yeah. It's kind of a little vloggy kind of ending there. Bleh. Until next time, stay safe and goodbye.